Hey guys, we are back. We're gonna do a little crappie piece today. Nothing fancy, it's that time of year. Wind's just blowing like a banshee. I don't know where it is where you have, where you are, but man, let me tell you, the wind's been blowing. We're gonna come into a little cove. I don't know that we're gonna teach you a dang thing, but we're gonna have fun. I'm here with a rarity. I'm actually getting to fish with the ever popular Jeff Falkenberry. He's so busy, I don't even have time to even, I, he ain't got time for me anymore. But what we are gonna do you see that little rig right there? We're gonna fish a little flea fly go-go minnow underneath a bobber. And we're just gonna have fun, man. We're just gonna cast over here at the bank. We're gonna catch a few crappie and you're gonna come along with us and just wish that you were out here doing this. I may even catch one first cast. I'll let you explain, Jeff, just what we're doing. And Well, hey, look, I don't care if you're right here in, on Truman Lake in West Central Missouri or anywhere in the country, whether you're five or 85, watching a cork go down is a lot of fun. You could be throwing shiners in the reeds in Florida and popping corks in Louisiana for trout. <clears throat> we're just taking a, a little slip cork, a little balsa cork, and we're got a bobber stop about, oh, 12 to 14 inches deep, 15 maybe. Cork slides up. Got a little 16th or 8th ounce jig head, whichever you like. This one's an 8th. And I'm running the Buster Brown Crappie Kicker from Flea Fly. Scott's got the Go Go Minnow on. And we're pitching that thing up to shore. These bucks are up there and they're fanning the beds. And, and uh, the crappie spawn is on right here uh, in Missouri. And, it's real simple fishing. <laughs> yeah, look at you. I just kind of caught him right in front of you. That's good. All little males. Nice little tennis every, every one of them, you know, if we was going to have a fish fry, you know, these would be just a perfect little, well, that's not a little bit too small, but but uh, you can see the little rig right here. And I don't know that it really has to be, you know, any of these colors, just something kind of in front of them to entice them. And it is, it's a, I miss that fish. It's a reaction bite. Um, when these crappie go up on a nest, a uh, male will go in and he'll build the nest. Then she'll come in, lay the eggs, and, and uh, he'll stay up there and guard. We're not teaching you guys any new technique or whatever else. It's just sometimes it's just kind of fun to go out. We'd actually turkey hunted this morning and it had stormed last night. And it was kind of a, we drew a blank, but you know, the crappie spawns on, we're here. And, and it's just fun sometimes just to get out and, and not have to think, not have to work real hard for it. right on that stump. How's that in feel? Yeah. It feels mad. It feels mad? It feels. Is that another male? Another male. Let's see if I can get the twin out of there. Another little buck fish. What do people need to look for, Jeff, this time of year? I mean, is <clears throat> all lakes different or? Um, no, you know, uh, crappie kind of like that pea gravel mixed with that chunk rock, it seems like. Um, you know, you're not going to want to fish a, a flat mud bank um, or this red clay that we have here on, on Truman. It's all red. You won't have uh, quite the success on the mud bank as you will this pea gravel slash chunk rock and even some of the bigger chunk rock uh, without the gravel is my favorite. That's good in there. Well, I thought it was a little better now. That's, That's still not nice. a good crappie. Nice eating size white crappie. Is that a male? You want to you wanna keep him? Keep a few for eating? Yeah. You know, the boat we're in today is our Sportsman 19 camo, 19 foot, 10 inch. You can see this deck is 
just ginormous on here. And uh, we've got it with a 115 Yamaha SHO. And you know, this time of year also is excellent for, uh, you know, this, this boat has the optional power poles on here. And this time of year is absolutely ideal. We got this wind blowing and everything. Hey, power poles on here, stop you dead in your tracks. We can sit here, we can fish comfortably, go about the boat. Tell you what, that right there is something else. And then come post-spawn time, put the drift paddles on there where you can drift around, start maybe doing get, get, get. your, your uh, <laughs> spider rigging or whatever. And then you got the best of both worlds. But see, right there, held us in spot in, and a nice crappie. Nice female. I'll call that the power pole crappie. But the thing I find about spots like this where the channel swings closer is these fish seem to reload a little bit quicker than spots that run shallow for a long period of time. So see, you, you actually are learning something. I didn't think we'd actually learn other than just having some fun, but see, when you go with somebody like Jeff, he teaches, he's, he's always teaching. There you go. I let him pull it away too. And you know, it's not every cast, you know, but it, it, it's, it's pretty close to it. And sometimes you like to just go out when you don't have to just strain your brain trying to locate fish. Now here in, within the next two or three weeks, hey, it may be that way, but right now, it just seems to be pretty much on. And, you know, once you establish a bank that has a few crappie on it, like we're catching right now, then you can go to other parts of the lake. And they may not be there, but then some of the other places might that have a similar contour or similar bank. And at least you can establish some sort of little pattern. There's another nice fish there, another nice black. And that's a black female. Yeah. And, you know, Scott was talking about the color on these fish, and a lot of people see a black crappie, and they think black crappie is a male crappie. But as you can see on this black crappie, that is a female. She is full of eggs. Um, you can count the spines on their back to tell the difference, or basically just tell the difference by all the spots, and she don't have the vertical lines. But um, that's a female. We're going to throw her back. But I tell you what, them male black crappie like that, I'm old school, even as young as I am. You... you Wipe the scales off of that joker, take his head off, and fry him whole. Oh but, yeah, but I'm telling you, man, <laughs> growing up, that's how that's how we ate them. I Whoa. mean, anything that's cooked on the bone uh, tastes far better than than anything fillet. You ain't wrong. You know, but over the years, I think people just got lazy. Just easier to fillet a fish than it is to uh, look. There's another black female, just like her. Yep. Well, I that's, mean, twins. That's one thing, saying that the, the spawn here, at least in this little spot, is not far from being over. No, she's up there. This happens real quick, and of course, I can go into a lot of useless crappie knowledge that people don't really care about, but... Go ahead, um, you clip over me. Go right in. <clears throat> you know, she'll come in, drop her eggs, and in 33 to 36 hours, those eggs are fried. I mean, they are chunked in there. Oh my gosh, these are some, maybe some nice ones, Jeff. Oh, I gotta get him out of that tree. Boy, that's a big female if I can keep her on. Come around there, girl. Well, you're gonna have to earn that. And... Look Good here. job. Look here. Look here. I may have one too. Hang on just a second here. 
Yeah, right there's mama and daddy. Look at there now, boys, girls. That's what I'm saying. Spring spawn is on. Chase you a few turkeys, find you some mushrooms, and then get after these right here during the day. Man, you can't beat it. Jeff Falkenberry, Endless Season Guide Service. Scott Turnage, G3 Sportsman. You can find us everywhere on YouTube, uh, social media, Facebook, Instagram. You can find us, check us out. We're always doing something fun. Jeff's out here every day. Give him a call, come fish with him, and I'll tell you what, you guys can have a blast just like we have been today. I don't think we taught you too much other than the fact that we had fun. We did have fun. We did have some fun. Well, all right, I'm gonna, this is a male, so I'm, we're gonna keep him and eat all him, right. and you're gonna let that and go. Yep. Hey, we'll see y'all next week somewhere right here on the G3 Sportsman. Thanks for watching.